crews remain on the scene of the Herkimer County Jail after a water line ruptured and a new pipe was installed. There's still more to be done. And Eyewitness News reporter Ben Dennis shows us more. The main water line at the Herkimer County Jail has been restored after it burst last Wednesday. Now some points on the infrastructure to-do list that's preventing inmates from returning to the facility. On the evening of June 6th, an estimated hour-long water loss of 700 gallons per minute prompted officials to move the 27 inmates at the jail to the United County Correctional Facility. The approximate $50,000 project replacement of the 40-year-old main water line is now in the ground, and for the new pipe itself, Herkimer County Under Sheriff Scott Schur says the project is partially a waiting game. Inspections and review could take some time. We're hoping Thursday morning. Mid morning, sometime at the latest or the earliest, we're going to be able to get that done and water slowly get turned back on in the facility. Shore tells me hopeful hypotheticals about the project completion may not allow inmates back to the facility until early next week. And that he says it's because last Wednesday's water line break flooded and permeated ground level spots around the jail's recreation facility. We cannot open the jail until we have a rec facility. Maybe tomorrow or Thursday, they start pumping that slurry, concrete mix, mortar. Uh, grout, what they call it, into those holes. Plus, after a slurry of public debate, Herkimer County legislators approved a plan in February to build a new $32 million correctional facility. According to a February article in the Observer Dispatch, a sales tax increase of 0.25 percent imposed over previous years will help pay for the projected price tag. Right now, we're sitting down every week talking with our engineers, talking with the state, uh, just trying to put the final bid package that we want to put out there. Though the plans for that new multi-million dollar facility are still ongoing, Schur tells me officials say ground could be broken in September or October of this year. Reporting in Herkimer, I'm Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.